Hey everybody, this is the Top 10 of Gamer Dude, and welcome back to my Let's Play Mother Cognitive Dissonance Blind on Hard Mode. In the last episode, we actually covered the rest of Mars, because the rest of Mars was just a, wet, a desolate wasteland, and um, we got the six point of power there, between Inferno and Blizzard. So, now you told us that uh, we have to go northeast. So, uh, let's just, hold up, what's this sign say? Do not enter further as per Earth decree, criminal action may result. Okay, is this planet it? It's way too hot, we got to pull out here for now. Okay. Uh... At least I saved before, so like if I get lost, I can just restart it. Okay, there's that. Okay, what's this say? This route reserved by the Zoning Council in preparation for a hyperspace bypass. Uh, now you did say it was like two norths and one east. So wait, what was that? Caught a space fish. Threw it back because no one really needs a space fish. Okay. Something's just not right about this picture asteroid. Uh, what's this? Oh, I know exactly where we are. Hold up, let me just let me just cut it until I, you know, find out where I need to go. Well, apparently upon restarting and going east, we were attacked by space pirates. Uses the Oh goodness, uses the metal of uh, Gyorg uh, sprites to uh, let's just quicken everyone, let's scan it. Gosh, these enemies were so powerful in the first game, Space Pirate. Yar, you knew you had to be. This scurvy dog will feed you to the fishes. No major weaknesses. Alright. So in other words, we just hit this guy as hard as we can. Incomprehensible zap. Nice, good damage. Ouch. Oh my gosh, why you have to miss? Uh, let's just put shields around everyone. PK beam beta. Wow, that guy looks weak to beam. <clears throat> Doesn't hurt too much now that we have a shield on. Shoot. Why do you keep missing? That sucks. Uh, let's just recharge. Alright, just PK Beam Beta. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Right, Horn of Life, wow. Alright, let's go up now. Mm, what's this? Satellite from Earth must be nearby. Found a present aboard. Woo! Meteorite was inside. One of our takes it. Will this hit us or something? No, it won't. What's this? Alright, okay. There we go. Hopefully Earth is somewhere around here. Please let it be somewhere. I don't want to keep cutting it. What are these? Uh, I can't click on them or anything. Hold on, what's this? Orbit the unknown planetoid? I mean, I guess I could like save here. But let me go to sleep before I do. Yep, save, file 4. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what's on this little planetoid. It is said that once every millennium, invaders will come to this star system. Each cataclysm must be prevented. Though our society will have long since fallen by the time this place is found, we leave this gift of prophecy. It is imbued with a great intelligence. Make it your own and learn from its lessons. Keep it from the wrong hands. Weird. Okay, there's a stop sign. Open the present. Apple of Clarity was inside. Lenovar takes it. Apple of Clarity was inside. Lenovar takes it. <clears throat> okay, nothing over there. Apple of Clarity. What's it do? The lesser apple, it can enhance your abilities. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> yes, return to the ship. So, why did I go to sleep? I mean... Alright, with that out of the way, let's just, you know, save our game. Why do I go down when I do that? Yes, we can leave the planetoid. Probably gonna run out of gas and then, yeah, likely get lost even more. <laughs> but hey, I mean, we can try. Where exactly is Earth? I think I'm going up too far. I mean, I think I am going up too far, but I'm probably not. But then again, I probably am because it said back there that, uh, yeah, Earth must be nearby. Not sure if that was a space pirate or what. I don't think we really need space fishes. Yeah, we're like almost out of fuel. Right, let me try going in this direction now. Okay, it says... Just the edge of space itself. Uh, we're probably gonna get towed. I mean, it's about time anyway. I haven't been towed in a while. Yep, towed. Yeah, so when your ship runs out of space fuel, you get taken to this place. Is what you're doing drifting all the way out here? It says, didn't you know that you can't go and fly big old spacecraft around without any gas? Well, no sense in just leaving you here trying to put this thing to work. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> your spaceship gets towed and, uh, Yeah, we get put here, and, uh, you can talk to this UFO, says, I'll help you if you want gas if you need, and then it's 50. So, um, yeah, we need a lot of gas, so, um, let's go with 13. Okay, obligatory shotgun is still good. Uh, uh, Stu, this is Mr. Guitar. We don't need Mr. Guitar. Scrap metal, space rock. I think there was rock shell, there's cactus fruit, lightning tosser. Wow, why does that cost a lot? There's the needler. Uh, meteorite. I'll keep that. Atomic combustor. Doesn't cost too much. Let me just use that. Yeah. Nice. All he has is spaceship fuel. So, um, 
Yeah. You can come in here and it says we're shy. <laughs> Thirty hours of a very slow metabolism. There's an order. We can buy cactus foods here. There's salty lemonade, hamburger, which is really good. And this can of fruit juice. It says this place is a dive. But you can actually play certain yeah music here. And those to the future. <laughs> So, um, yeah, after you get, like, however much space fuel you need, you can, uh, talk to this guy here. And he'll tell you where some of the planets are at. And it's Pluto. Are you serious? This is the Pluto is the most backwards place ever. If you really want to go there, just follow down and... Ooh, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Yikes. Could have been a travesty. So, but if you really want to go there, <clears throat> follow down and right towards Neptune. And then just keep going past it long ways. Alright. Yeah, let's return to the ship. Alright, so um I'm gonna save. And I'm going to cut it until I get to Earth. So, yeah. Alright, so, I believe the riddle... Nui says, two east, one north. That's confusing, but get it. So, I think he literally wants you to, like, press the movement keys. Two right, up one. So, it says, R, watch out. It'll eat you to the terror of the stars. What is it? Wh wait, is this a boss? What? This is a boss fight? What? This is the... Gari Genthin confronted you. Oh my gosh, it's playing... This is the other ship fired a laser. Wow, so it's playing... Uh, natural killer cyborg music, which... Uh-oh. Is this, this boss going to be hard? PK Beam Beta. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh... First off, let's quicken all of our party members, then let's scan it. Wow, random boss. Says, stay away from this guy, he's bad news. Sometimes the virus ships you venture too far into the outer reaches of the solar system. Wow, well, um... I'm not really sure what we should do. Okay, wow, that's a lot of, uh... It's a lot of stuff to be using. Alright, um... Let's, let's just up all of our attack stats. Regenerate. Alright, um... Just rift the eye. Alright, some parts of the body don't, uh, take damage. I'm not really sure what I should be attacking. Wow, wrapped. Well, let's just shield everyone. PK Thunder. Wow. This enemy is retardedly strong. From what I've been seeing. Uh, let's just shockwave Omega. <laughs> okay. At least the music's good. The eye. Maybe the eye's the weak spot. I'll just use that again. Shoot the eye. 
the eye. <laughs> At least this music is really good. Just keep hitting the eye. Alright, um... Just recharge. Just have a little of our riff. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Can okay, you shoot the eye? Try to get away and did. Okay, what is happening? I threw my tentacle bands at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice, but I think that's what must have scared it away. Thanks for rescuing me. I don't have much, but you can take most of my bow box. You need more of them since they could have been eaten away. Wow. That thing has been threatening ships and gobbling them up for a long time. Someday I dream that someone will put a stop to it. If anyone ever does, they can find me on Uranus. Don't look at me like that. I meant the platform. Wow. Land on Earth. You collateral with some sort of barrier. Nui floated outside of the ship and pulled the barrier's door open. Apparently it has a door. We're hit, we're hit, everyone brace for impact. Whoa. Wow, we couldn't even do anything. We just got hit by something. Meanwhile, ooh, a gray face? We're playing as the gray phase. Level 55. Wow! This guy is loaded. Gunfire, burp, fear of government, stinky gas, boom bomb, grenade, bazooka, reload. Here come the men in black. Red cap. I don't have much to say about this. This is if... Looking awesome was a stat I would give it plus 10. Heavy bazooka. Stolen to be put to better use. <laughs> it's not the time for that. Okay, we're playing as the gray face. This door is locked. The newspaper underneath I dated a few years back. Okay, so in the right door we go. Wait a minute. That's the machine Porky gets into in at the end of Earthbound. Wait a minute. So it's, wait a minute. There's a pencil eraser. Wait just a minute. No dial tone. Wait, this is Porky? Save your game. This is Porky. Are you serious? This is time circumvent set to 199x. Initiate jump. Wow. So that pretty much is Porky. There are no if, ands, or buts. Alright. Okay, do we go up or down? Okay, we go down. Oh, there goes the, there goes the yo-yo. Took the... <gasps> Oh my gosh, Connects Mother 3! Oh my gosh, Porky went back in time to get the friend's yo-yo because he never truly really got over betraying Ness. And he considered Ness a good friend in Mother 3, even, but he knows he's done nothing to actually earn that friendship. Due to Porky's rough upbringing, 
Okay, we can move around and stuff. But, um, oh, okay. Oh, and look where we are at. Oh, we can save any time. <laughs> Come on, you later. Is that a commission? Aw. So, well, let's t talk to Nayu. Well, the ship got... The ship really got it, but we're in the right general location for the Apple, at least. Don't worry about Lars for now. I'll have him patched up soon, but you three need to get out there and search. First off, you'll need some Earth money. I haven't really got much, but here's a little bit and, and something to keep it in. One of our took the folding wallet in ten box. Oh, and take these disguises. That way none of the Earth people will question you. They haven't developed much space travel yet, and are very afraid of aliens due to Giyu's attack not too long ago. What do we look like? What do we look like? Come on. Come on. What do we look like? Wow. So it's got the Earth disguises. <laughs> okay, Mr. Saturn's is the most practical. Um. Okay, I'm an Earth boy. Zarball's a dog. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, let's save. So, um, if anybody liked this part, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. And I will see all my fans later. Peace out.